Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Just give me a quick in explanation of uh, right, what's go. going on out there. So we are at the Barnegat Ridge on my friend's 19 foot uh, Pioneer Center console. Um, we had, uh, we trolled five rods. Uh, we set up um, the two stern rods. All rods had 30 pound test braid on them with short mono leaders, like maybe 10 feet, nothing crazy. Um, just two uh, like 100 pound snap snap swivels uh, clips so the two corner rods the two stern rods were both uh, rigged with number one Clark screws the small ones so like the uh, the two inch kind one rod had a number one diving planer with a like a 10 foot leader to the Clark spoon the other one had an 8 ounce drill with a uh, 10 foot leader to the Clark spoon then we had the two other rod holders on each side of the boat on the gunnel were uh, green feathers on one and the other one was purple feathers on the other and they were just you know basically on the surface way behind the boat and then down the middle we had a green daisy chain I think there were six inch uh, squids and um, with the bird in front of it and that's it we had uh, I think we only got tangled up once everything ran well just watched our turns and we caught fish so uh, stick around hit that like button hit that subscribe button and see you on the water. Oh yeah, and I'll put the links below of what we used. And our trolling speed was seven miles an hour. Yeah. All rods uh, caught fish. I didn't get everyone on camera, but the daisy chain down the middle caught an albacore. Uh, both feathers caught Spanish, and uh, I think we got one albacore on the green feathers. And the feathers were the four inch feathers um, for size. So basically everything on the small side. Oh yeah, we're marking here. That's a lot of fish. Sounds good. See if that da daisy chain gets whacked. Oh shit. I haven't marked fish like this ever. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Did you he come on? No, he's still on. He just ran towards me. Wow, I've never even marked fish here. This is fun. It's close to the boat. Wow. So what do I got? Do I got a... a to me. Oh, it a, okay. Oh, you got it was on the planer. Maybe we get some panita. Some sushi. Oh, eaters. All right, there we go. Yeah, Spanish. Like this is Spanish, right? Yep. Yeah. Right, let me get this down. Nice. That's a nice one. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Here, you want me to? Uh... Eater. It's an eater. Take that. Oh, shit. oh wow, there's a lot of bait on the screen. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Man, it's loaded. Alright, so we got the number one diving planer with the fish on. Oh, he's gone. Hey, pop the planer. You think he's on? Ah, yeah. Oh shoot, I'm hoping to get cleaned off. Yeah. You saw the spoon? Yeah. You don't have a wire leader, do you? Nah. No. Nah. Like the, the king uh the king's rip him right off. So when you, how do you show me how to set that thing when you put it in the water? Okay. All right. And what's on this one? No, that one. Oh, okay. With a with a drill weight? Yeah. 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 So you put the spoon out first? Spoon out. Yeah, like that? Yeah, and just drop it down? Yep. Okay. Nice. Fish on, fish on. Got him? Oh, I came off. Oh, man. Like oh, sorry. Fuck, I went freaking skid out there. Fish on, fish on. As far as the distance behind the boat, 
um, at trolling speed, we basically put the lure down in the water and counted to about 20 seconds. They were pretty far, be all of them were pretty far behind the boat. Hold it up. That, that is so cool. Giving you a workout. Left arm. Right. It's out 300 feet. I don't know if that's where you had it. Oh, there we go. Fish on. I got him. This one feels good. Yeah, they do. Yep. Another one of those guys. Looks like it. A little smaller. Yep. Got it, Chris? Yep. There he is. Take care of him. Yeah, they're hanging right here. See that guy in the well? Quick pick. Fish on, fish on. What is out of my boat? Brought a couple of bananas on a boat. You want me to get that rod? My buddy freaked out. You know what? Leave it? Leave it. Uh, I'll try and keep it straight. I'm going to turn right a little bit. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, cool. <laughs> on the feathers. Oh, boy, this is. Nice one for it. <sighs> ah, shit. Got the rookie. <laughs> Very cool. I thought we had triples on. I thought I, had, I heard another one go off. Should it mark the spot? You all right? Yeah. Just I just turned the wheel straight. Can you get it? Uh, good. I don't know. Is it? Another Spanish. Cool. Nice. Pliers? Yeah, that was the uh, first fish on those uh, four inch purple feathers. Scrub the wheel. Nice. Fish on. Fish on. on there. Oh yeah, he's on. You want him?
Utah. This reel is much nicer. A big handle. This is on the 8 ounce. Yeah, we started with the four ounce drill and no hits on that switched over to the eight ounce drill and we got a hit so the fish just definitely were deeper which explains why the planer uh, was out fishing everything else most of the time when the sun hits them oh that weight is huge no wonder why Thanks. yeah another spanish drill rod that was uh, clipped the line was clipped into a down uh, an outrigger release clip that we just had uh, tied down to the uh, cleat on the boat just to keep it low in the water uh, he's going that way I was just trying to go slow because I'm not gonna gain any line on him it might oh yeah I don't think this is no Spanish Oh, my camera's still recording. Albie. Is it? Yeah. Watch your fingers. Albie. Nice. This is when the fight starts now. Albie. Hang on. He's not that big either. No. These fish are insane. These fish are insane. He's pulling out I'll tell you, for the size of these albies, they are so strong. Ah, nice. Got him? Yep. Give me the weight. Turn left. Wait, one more pick. Turn. Okay, one, two, three. Got it. We've got another Albion. <laughs> 